Hello folks, this is Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, EDF troops are being pushed back further toward Irkutsk. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France and we're starting to get reports of local resistance cells re-establishing communications with... I was going to be a vidcaster on Alpha Centauri. I had it all planned out. I even had the equipment. I was a cook. Nothing fancy. I just like to cook. Did I want to be a soldier? Fuck no. I could have been a wrestler. Or a porn star. Or both. I studied frogs. Frogs are amazing creatures. I told them there was something out there, but no one believed me. You know what's funny? I used to be a pacifist. The truth is, they don't care about who we used to be or what we wanted to do. To them, we're just slaves. But if they thought this was gonna be easy, they came to the wrong fucking planet. Because he knows where to find the Ark of the Covenant. Yep. Which contains the Holy Grail. Yep. Which is an alien artifact. Yep. So we have to go to the Vatican. Yep. Uh. That's Triple A, rookie. Get used to it. I don't know. This is some Da Vinci Code shit, man. Huh. You don't like the Da Vinci Code, Sam? Nah. Why not? Some good theories in there. No literary merit. So, um, uh, who's your favorite writer? Uh, Philip K. Dick, I guess. Philip K. Dick? Wait, Sam reads books? Shit. Guys, guys, you got incoming! Anyone? I'm here. What's happening? We got hit hard. Convoy's foobar. Gotta regroup and get out of here, or get out of here and regroup, whatever. Casualties? Driver's dead. Rookies. I'm alive, I think. So, rookie, 
What's your name? Kenneth, sir. All right, Kenny. Relax. We're gonna kill us some aliens. Did you miss me? Cause I didn't miss you. Sir, um, I think my gun broke. Don't worry, kid, I got this covered. Uh, sir, these Octanian Harvester Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. I once killed a clear with a nail clipper. These things, are they...? Yep. The processed. Humans turned into cannon fodder for Mitchell's horde. Cute, aren't they? How... how can we help them? Apply bullets as needed. Oh, yeah! I could really use a gun. Copy that, but this is a toy for big boys. Now, you can also take out the Kanar with your bare hands, but for larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun... any gun... Vultures explode, so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Look, it's not a scientific term, but it works for me. Um, could I have a gun now? You know, it's funny, but usually when I pick up one of these things... Ah, there they are! Because it is an advanced automatic security gate, of course. It is I, Professor Gottlieb Kiesel, your scientific advisor. Good talk. Does he always call in at random like that? I think he just gets bored.
They turn us into the processed? Yep. Mothership sucks you up, spits out a tentacle brain killing machine. I guess mental's really into recycling. Getting a signal from Father Mikhail. I'll upload the coordinates to your Nutrixa. All right. One ecclesiastical extraction coming right up. Ecclesiastical extraction? Good one. I think that's it for now. Recognize that thing? It's a scrapjack. Let me take it apart so you can have a closer look. Father. 
Salvador. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Brother Mikhail, I presume. I thought there was supposed to be convoy. I am the convoy. Hi, I'm Kenny. Hellfire, we're ready for extraction. I'm picking up Rodriguez and Jones at the Piazza della Repubblica. Meet me there? It's a date. Father, grab your stuff. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I have my shotgun and my faith, son. I am already packed. he can to save planet. Hello folks, this is Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, EDF troops are being pushed back further toward Irkutsk. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France and we're starting to get reports of local resistance cells re-establishing communications with the EDF. Lord Ackerman, Mintel's chief lackey in Europe, continues being a dickhead, so that's not actually news. I don't want that there. Hold on. I'm getting an update. It looks like a fleet of Octanian raiders is zeroing in on Rome. So if you're anywhere in or near that area, now would be a good time to get the hell out of there. I repeat, if you're in or near Rome, evacuate now. Good luck to you all. Giant metal space snake? Yep. Oh, I see. Good. That's good. Camel friends! I smell seafood! Opinions are coming! <laughs> on the Tunguska Offensive. As previously reported, the EDF front has been pushed back further toward our troops. We now know that troops will be called to participate in an attack on Angarsk, which was aimed at the destruction of a portal. We lost some ground, but at least now the enemy can't teleport straight up our noses anymore. Losing ground might sound like a bad thing, but let's keep in mind that Siberia is a big place with not a whole lot in it, so... Let them have it if they want it so bad. The point I'm trying to make here, folks, is that we need to pick our battles carefully. If we lose this war, that's it for planet Earth. That's it for us. No more second chances. So if retreating toward Irkutsk is what we need to do today, let's do that. So we can gain ground again. You have 
have found the Syrian artifact of might. I theorize that the cloud of nanoparticles contained within can grant powerful new skills. However, the human brain may not be... You inhaled it, didn't you? Yep. Uh, of course you did. your back sir I will pray for you since you have the shotgun can you shoot and I'll pray as you wish Talk to Massimo. This is also his hobby. what I call raising the roof. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I think we have been fighting every day since the city was invaded. We... Massimo. Massimo! No! He... He is dead. I'm sorry. I saw him fight. He was a real badass. But how... How can he be dead? He is Massimo Murena, the hero of the Italian resistance, the spirit of Roma. Is that really how his story ends? It does not seem right. <sighs> we never get to retire, do we? What's your name? Paolo. 
Nope. Your name is Massimo Morena. It is? Yep, that's you. Massimo Morena, hero of the Italian resistance. Got it? But who died? Some guy called Paolo. Just a brave, ordinary Roman. But Massimo Morena will take revenge, won't he? I... Uh, it's what he would have wanted. Take this, my friend. A gift from Massimo Morena. I hope you were successful, my son. You win some, you lose some. Can't tell which one this was. I would like to urge you to consider the subject of hope. I sense evil presence. Is your priest sense tingling? No, I just see pale corpses and floating objects. Sir, it's an organ hemophore. It's a fucking vampire, Kenny. Suckers! Let's go up here, son. Sounds like we're about to have company. I am reloading. Forgive me. I almost made stairway to heaven joke. You are forgiven, father. Oh, wow. What a lovely view. Planet Earth, baby. There's no place like it.
That's right, you sons of bitches! I'll fuck metal! I'll fuck your whole army! Come at me, you alien pendejo! You want Mexican? I got Mexican! You want American? I got American! Y'all wanna bite me? Come get your Chile con carne! What he said. Sam, nice to see you in one piece. Yeah, yeah. Never been so glad to see your ugly face, cabron. Hey, where's the rookie? I really wish I had a gun! Catch! Oh, I, I lost my shoe. Nice shot! Crap, one-liner, though. I wasn't trying to do a one-liner. I lost my shoe? Dude, that doesn't even make sense. Should've said surprise. Just as you turned around, that would've been sweet. I was just trying to survive. I wasn't- This is triple A, boy. You gotta survive with style. See, a good one-liner would've been- Uh, could we do this later? This looks like a combat situation. favorite song. So, Kenny, you should have gone for an eye joke. Always good with Gnar. I see you!
Hey, Kenny! You come up with a good one-liner yet? Or are you still waiting for the other shoe to drop? Rodriguez, cut him some slack. He's new. He'll learn. Time to break out the big guns. What, the minigun? But that's Hellfire's. You know what she's like about people taking her stuff. Nah, she won't mind if I take it. Money that bad. Be my guest. Hey, Joe. Remember when we killed that winner in Tokyo? is an ex-snake. Technically speaking, it's an ex-basilisk. Shut up, Rodriguez! Did you miss me? You're right on time. Hey, Carter! What's new? Did you know this exact same model of bus was used in the assassination attempt on the Italian Prime Minister's personal ufologist in 2052? Now, most people say it was the Illuminati, but I'm pretty sure it was the CIA. Your tax money at work! Why did I even ask? Ladies and gentlemen, the express bus to anywhere but here is now departing. Want me to drive? I don't trust your driving, Stone. Remember what happened in Oslo? Hey, that nun came out of nowhere. You know what's funny? Today's my birthday. Damn, I didn't get you a present.
Ezekiel went to the Valley of Bones. And the Lord said to him, Can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, O oh Lord, they will obey your commands. And that's how you do it. Thank you for rescuing me, friends. You're welcome, Father. But we still need to get you into the Vatican Library. All right, team. Give me some options. Rome's sealed tighter than a virgin's buttocks. Uh, sorry, Padre. Um, uh, wheels are out. Hellfire, what about wings? No way. It's like the annual Octanian Raider convention up there. Toyline Hellfire is correct. Unless Vesuvius were to erupt, enemy control of the airspace will remain absolute. Yes, yes, that's it. But we'll use Vesuvius, just like in 2010, when they used HARP to trigger that volcano in Iceland and brought down all air traffic in Europe to stop the Illuminati from getting out of Belgium. Ridiculous! The HARP is the High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program. It is not an earthquake machine. Yeah, well, that's what they want you to think. Nonsense! I would know about such a device. Actually, it is an earthquake machine. Verdammt! Uh, wait, I'm right? Yes, I knew it. And now he'll never shut up. Thanks. We called it Project Rock and Roll. A powerful experimental weapon designed to provoke seismic activity. It hasn't been used in years. But I've got the access codes. But sir, the targeting system is down. We need to manually place beacons to realign the satellite. Then the team just won an all-expenses-paid trip to beautiful Pompeii. It's crazy. It's impossible. I love it. Let's do it. Sam, I need the team to place eight beacons. I've uploaded the target locations to your Nitrixa. Okay, guys. All we need to do is take these doodads to their designated locations. Rodriguez, you go north. Kenny, west. Jones, do the stadium. I'll take care of the south. And you know the drill. Last one back pays for drinks tonight. Yep. On it. Moving out. <sighs> I'll be in the car. Hey, Hellfire. What's it like being on the ground again? Kind of boring. Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Hey, Hellfire. Did I tell you how my goatee got its nickname? Do I want to know? Mm -mm. Uh, I didn't tell you that story. Uh, uh... I got a bone to pick with you.
Hey, Jones. <sighs> what now? Tell us a joke, Jones. Rodriguez. Come on, man. Tell us a joke. I just did. Turn. Hellfire. Is it true about you and Sam? Is what true? You did it in a helicopter while fighting off harpies over Beijing? Don't be stupid, Rodriguez. Hey, it's just what I heard. There were no harpies in Beijing, you moron. You believe everything you're told? Sorry, sorry. Fire. What? Rodriguez, shut up. As you know, it's been hard to get any news out of prison. We finally managed to contact some of our sources. We're being told that the bulk of Lord Ackerman's troops is starting to move out of the capital, presumably to aid the forces occupying the south, which have been debilitated by constant attacks from the French resistance. In Paris itself, the local infrastructure is in ruins, with survivors struggling to find food and clean water. This is either the world's worst nosebleed or something I should look into. over, but mine's still going.
First, way ahead of you suckers. <laughs> Bacon set. Bacon. Bacon? I shouldn't have skipped breakfast. Is that a wizard wizard or a lizard wizard? I'm heading into Rome with Father Mikhail. We'll stay put until Project Rock and Roll goes live, and then we'll push for the Vatican. Copy that. Good luck, guys. Approaching target area. Looks suspiciously quiet. Made enemy contact. Lots of it. Guys, looks like we got zealots. Remember, Kenny, shoot him in the back. Yes, sir. Back shooting commence. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm on duty. I can't get hammered.
stadium. You know, this place would be kind of nice if it weren't for all the monsters. <laughs> Mein Zauber gerade auf mein Keyboard. Uh, I'm sure you can find it. Ah, an authentic ancient Roman rocket launcher. That's because I gave you the easy ones, dumbass.
This looks awesome. What's it do? I believe the artifact was part of the Sreans' research into the properties of time and may have a time dilution effect. So could I use it? In theory, but you must first return it for study. Or I could use it. Or you could bring it back. Or I could use it. Or you could bring it back. Or I could use it. Or you could bring it back. Or I could bring it back. Or you could use it. Well, thank you, Professor. Shut up, dumped. Set. Ready to... Hold on. I need to hand out some bullets. Jones. It might be a comms malfunction, but... Can you pinpoint his bacon? Beacon? Yes, it's in the amphitheater, but it seems to be mobile. I'll check it out. I'm done as well. I can help you. Negative. I got this. Kenny, you get out of here. Oh, my God. 
stones! I'm gonna cut you into little pieces. I hope you enjoyed that meal, because it sure as hell is gonna be your last. Eating my friends! I'm gonna... Stone, it's the last beacon in place. Just a sec. He had a brother, you know. The guy you just killed? I'll have to call him, tell him some damn alien killed Tom. It'll ask me. What'd you do, Sam? And I'll say, I stuck this beacon right through that bastard alien skull. Do you think that'll make him feel better? Let's find out together. Sam, what's happening? Keep losing your signal. There's too much interference. All beacons are placed and primed. But we have a perimeter. It's a minute to reach the minimum of safe distance. We are not outside the target area. We got confirmation from the ground. Engage the harp array. Sir, I'm not sure that's what Stone meant. Sam, please repeat, we're getting a lot of interference. I repeat, we have cleared the perimeter. We can't hesitate. Stone's a soldier. He knows the risks. Sir. Energize. That's an order. Confirmed. We have clearance from General Brand. Engaging Harp. Project Rock and Roll is a go. Oh, crap. No, 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 no! Kenny? Yes, sir? Run! Sam, it's getting mighty toasty over here. Hurry up.
Well, he's done. <clears throat> Got scorps here. Hey, me too. Killed those scorps. Hey, me too. Scorp buddies. for a cheeseburger. Twice as bright, dies twice as fast. Paraphrasing Lao Tzu, sir. That's elaborate. My one-liners go extra deep. Guys, get back to the car ASAP. But I'm having such a nice barbecue. the white meat. Who wants the dark meat? Hold on, this is all dark.
What's your status? Running, sir! Now you made me think of breakfast again. Professor Kiesel, I got your order at Crispy Fried Alien ready to go. What? But I didn't... Oh, I see. Haha, <laughs> how entertaining. Really? Nein. Your humor is incomprehensible, bordering on deranged. But I will have your reward waiting for you at HQ. I'd be offended, but I like rewards. Kenny, status. Still running. Everything's coming down. Had to take a detour. Ah! Kenny, you okay? I'm pin, sir. Can't get out. Could use help. Hang on, kid. Sir. Over here, sir! What happened to you? I got trapped under the statue of Uranus. That doesn't look like my- Let's not go there. You're right. I can do better. Thanks, kid. Now come on. We need to keep moving. Can you walk? I'll do my best. Looks dangerous. 
And by the way, this type of situation, perfect for fire-based one-liners. Go ahead, give it a shot. But what if I fail? Will you fire me? No, of course not. I see what you did there. Well played. Okay, I'm firing up the engine. The clock is ticking and melting. The metaphorical clock is actually melting.
One-liner! Uh... Abracadabra, lady. See, you're getting the hang of it, kid. Huh. Guess I am. Get in the car. This place is going to hell. Jones? Didn't make it. Shit. Let's get out of here before we join them. happened out there stand down I'm not going to court-martial you for assaulting a superior officer but if you think I'll apologize stone think again being a leader means having to make tough calls even if people hate you for it I have accepted that burden but I also demand the respect that comes with it you want respect you don't leave people out to fry maybe one day you'll find yourself in my shoes and then you'll understand that pragmatism beats idealism any day of the week. But we have bigger problems now. Quinn? This discussion isn't over, sir. The plan worked. The raiders are down, but there's been... a hiccup. There's always a hiccup. Carter and Delta Team escorted Father Mikhail into Rome. They were on their way to the Vatican Library, but we lost contact with them at 1300 hours. Any idea why? Negative. They were in the catacombs when we lost comms. It could be equipment failure, but given the seismic activity in the area... You think they brought the house down? Figures. Their last known position was near the Colosseum. Enough talk. Take Rodriguez. Find them. Hey, Rodriguez! Check out this rocket launcher gizmo I got from the professor. Whoa! That's a lot of rockets. Jealous? Me? What? No! I could shoot plenty of rockets! A brain with a mouth. I guess it's hungry for new ideas. Here they come! More bad guys! And now a message from Lord Ox. <laughs> Weather's nice today. Nothing like a volcano. Give your day that special something. Makes me feel like having a picnic.
bites the dust. Kills him dead. Jones is gone, man. I hear ya. I always figured I'd go first. The heart attack while doing blow or in some dumb way like a, a helicopter crash or falling off a horse. Not in battle, obviously. I'm fucking Rodriguez, but Jones, man. I thought he might make it. Go back to being a cook. Open up a taqueria or something. Not... Not this. Quick update on the whole volcanic apocalypse business. Enemy air traffic in central Italy is pretty much ground. I know who you are, Professor. Excellent. Now, our sensors have detected a subspace distortion that would indicate the presence of a local portal that allows the enemy to teleport their forces. Great. Can I break it? Indeed you can. The portal is stabilized by five transdimensional anchors. Deactivating them should collapse the teleport field and, if my research is correct, safely free the crystallized black holes, which you can use as weapons. And what if your research is wrong? Then you will destroy Italy. Hmm. 
I really want a crystallized black hole. So do I. What? Remember, you must first deactivate the anchors. They are the five loops that are connected to the portal. If I was a porn star, my porn name would be... Hmm. Porn names are hard. Maybe something simple like John. Dick. No, no, that doesn't sound like me.
Down you go! Yo, boss, which way you want to go? City or ruins? I don't know. Quinn! Quinn? We fucked up the volcano, and the volcano fucked up the radio. Karma's a bitch. Okay, you take the city, I'll take the ruins. What is it with you and ruins?
Lucky what I found. I don't know, Sam. What is it? It's a locked door. But you hate those, don't you, Sam? Yes. Yes, I do. And you know what? I bet Rodriguez won't run into a single one of these. Why can't these things ever be under the doormat? science consultant, Professor Kiesel. Professor, is there any truth to the rumors that the volcanic eruption in Italy was caused by the EDF using the HARP system? And I cannot share classified details, but no, no, that would be ridiculous. To even attempt to build such a machine would be scientifically absurd. So you say it's not true? <laughs> I'm on my way. They're trapped. What else are they gonna do? Are you the one they call Sirius Sam? The one and only. Oh, 
I am a very big fan. Uh, uh, can you can you sign my rifle? I collect the signature of the bad ass. Um, sure. I already have the signature of Massimo Murena and uh, Rodriguez the Ram. The Ram? Really? Only one small problem. I left my rifle over there. <laughs> Many enemies, very dangerous. Perhaps you, the great hero, can defeat them. Anything for a fan. You know who I just met? Sam Stone! Yes! Serious Sam! No, I swear! No, no, I, I can't get it for you. He went to sign my rifle. What? No, of course not. Oh. Ah, well. <laughs> my favorite EDF member is Hellfire. Ah, Hellfire. Enjoy the shooting. Yours sincerely, Kenny the Killer. <laughs> That didn't seem all that dangerous. Why do I say these things?
Oh, come on! All right, fellas, let's dance. Save the Earth is cost us The Colosseum, where thousands of souls suffered under the scorching Roman... Well, well, well. The mighty hero has reached the grand arena to fight before the ruler of the land. Most appropriate, don't you think? A dramatic setting for the hero's final confrontation with reality. Is that what you call my fist meeting your face? <laughs> you see, that attitude is what makes conquering your planet so amusing. Your unwavering belief in the triumph of the underdog. I want to see that confidence break. You done talking, jackass? No, I'm only just getting started.
isn't a single bullet left on this entire planet. My fists don't need bullets. You're beginning to bore me. Let me summarize your final lesson, Sam. There is a hierarchy to the universe. People like you will always be down there. People like me will always be up here. And the only escape you have is death. Goodbye, Sam. Nobody will remember you. <laughs> Looks like Ackerman ordered the lobster, and I'm gonna have to pick up the tab. for a big battle. And that's why a crustacean is like a... Damn it, Rodriguez, you interrupted my one-liner. Sorry, boss. You want me to go back down and come back up again? <sighs> no, the moment's passed. What are you doing down there anyhow? Been down here like half an hour. I think the others are that way. What happened to you? Ah, uh, you know, same old crab.
All right, these guys have to be down here somewhere. This makes it how many times now we've dug Carter out of a hole? Four, if you count the buried spaceship in Peru. What is it with this guy? Now I am confused. McCartney was dead all along? Oh yeah, you got it, Father. Mental replaced him with a highly modified Aludrin Reptiloid just before Sergeant Pepper. And Elvis? Alive and kicking. I see. And what has that got to do with our Lord and Savior, Jesus of Nazareth? Now, if you analyze the Book of Revelations using the Rohan's Codex Cipher with a reference to the Voynich Manuscript, you get the lyrics to Hound Dog. And of course, they call him the King. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. I... I don't even know what to say. Sweet! Carter found someone to play with. Yeah, sorry you got stuck down here with Carter, Padre. Oh no, not at all. Our conversation was most illuminating. Okay, Rodriguez, you dig him out. I'll take care of the rest. Father, just tell me how to get that thingamajig. We are actually looking for text, not Ark of Covenant. Text leads us to Ark. What's this Ark anyway? A holy container described in Book of Exodus. A box. A box that, according to my research, contains Holy Grail. And that will help us defeat Metal. How? Grail has power to save all things. With it, we can withstand this false god's assault on our planet. Music to my ears. Where do I find this text? When you get to Chamber of Nephilim in Vatican Library, you must find statue of St. George. Hold down his sigil while turning his right arm in a perpendicular direction. Then push his left arm upwards. And secret chamber containing document will be revealed. Sigil. That's a nice word. I should have a sigil. The sigil of Sam. Relax, Chamber of St. George, push the sigil, yada yada, I got it. Signore, please, I need help. Signore, it is about my daughter, Gabriella. She's a scientist working for the resistance. B but yesterday, she went to her lab and she has not returned. Uh, can you make sure she's all right? Uh, please, I am an old man. I cannot fight. Sure thing, Pops. Good news, everyone. We've received confirmation that our
Yo, Gabriella, you in here? Gabriella! There you are. Your old man asked me to make sure you're okay. Mille grazie. I am grateful for your assistance. The work we do here is very important. Let me give you something for your trouble. Like a, a kiss? I was thinking of this. Oh, that's even better. Better? I gotta go. I want to give this baby a whirl. Humph. Men.
science fact of the day. Human victory is a statistical impossibility. Isn't that fascinating? Hello. Is there anybody out there? I need help with these worms. What? Ah, yes. A hero. I need help with these worms. When I was a little bambino, my mother said to me, bring me the flour. I will make your pizza. But the flour was full of worms. I get no pizza. I hate worms. Now, the whole city is full of worms. We must kill them, destroy them. You seriously need to relax. I relax when worms are dead. I must stop them. But for my research, I am lacking important substance. Hypermepentazole. Find it in pharmacy. Sure thing, Pops. Slippery, slidey, sneaky worms. Worms attack. Worms attack. They come, they slide around a little if you die, your sacrifice will not be forgotten, big gun man. Uh, thanks. Here you go. Ah, yes, bueno. Now all worms will die. Alien worms, earthworms, mealworms, flatworms, inchworms, even snakes. Uh, okay. So how long is this gonna take? I will have the first results in six months. What? But here, take this and thank you, big gun man. Sure thing, Pops. Wait, isn't Bueno Spanish?
Americano. Come here. Ma'am, what are you doing here? This is a war zone. This is not a war zone. This is Roma, my city, my home. I fight. Ma'am, there are more of them coming. It would be best if... What is it, Americano? Are you afraid of monsters? Ma'am, I'm a... Don't be afraid. Nona's right here. She help you fight the monsters. Americano, you fight on street like good boy. I shoot from here. <sighs> My old bones are no good for the close combat. What is it about grannies that makes them so hard to disobey? Americano, I'm proud of you. I must go get my rocket launcher now. Here, you take Nona's minigun. <gasps> Careful, it is heavy. Thanks, I've actually handled one of these before. Uh, uh, by the way, how do I get to the Vatican? Oh, it's easy. Go around the Castello and then turn left through the park. Go straight ahead, and there you can find Papa Mobile. I, I'm, I'm not sure that's my kind of ride. <laughs> Silly boy, is the new Papa Mobile. Il Papa have it made all special. You see, he's good. Now go.
also far more. It is the understanding that what ordinary minds call reality Oh, yes! Thanks, crazy old Italian lady, and thank you, Mr. Pope! And on the eighth day, the Lord gave unto Sam a mech, and it was good.
Let's get that book. What did Father Mikhail say? Find the statue of Saint... What was it? John? Paul? Ringo? George! Right. Now, turn to... What the hell is a sigil, anyway? I don't even... Ah, screw it. This should do it. So, an old Slavic text we found in Italy told us that the Middle Eastern artifact we're looking for, which is actually of alien origin, is in France. Yep. This is actually one of our less convoluted missions. You sure it's in Carcassonne, then? I am sure it is there, but I am not sure our path is wise. This grail, whatever it is, I fear it is anathema unto God. Men died to hide it, to shield the world from its influence. Or to keep it for themselves. Whatever their reasons, we need it. We're gonna win this war, no matter the cost. And what if cost is our soul? I'll write them a check. Five minutes to drop. What's the situation on the ground? Oh, Catfu. Mental captured the town a while back. We can expect heavy enemy activity. Nice. I like a challenge. You're set to rendezvous with a French resistance cell. Contact's name is Michelle. She'll meet you on the main square. The resistance will get you into the castle. What was that? What the fuck? Lost Engine 2! Gremlins are real! We got raiders on our tail! This thing flies like a sack of potatoes! A sack of potatoes that's about to fall out of the sky! Start bailing, now! You heard the lady. Go! Geronimo! What the fuck? Everyone, report! I'm okay! I got out. I lost my shoe! Winds are too strong. Can anyone hear me? Try to stay together. Don't get scattered. We're... Guys, hello? Shit, I can't see anything. Is that a tree? Hello? Anyone there? Quinn? Carter? Kenny? Yeah, this mission is going great! It's a long way to that town. I'm gonna need a ride.
Time for a road trip.
enemies. Full of shotgun shells. You were a mad cow, now you're a dead cow. This is Radio Free Earth with more news from Rome. Apparently yesterday there was an explosion inside the Vatican Library. So we have Raider Fleet, Volcano Eruption, Giant Blob Monster, and then the Vatican explodes. I don't know about you folks, but I think there's something really funky going on. Thanks for your help, friend. Sure was lucky that you came along. You're welcome, ma'am. So, what are two all-American girls doing shooting aliens in the French countryside? Well, Aubrey's from around these parts, actually. After Lexington, she said, let's go somewhere nice, drink some wine, shoot some aliens, have some quiche. Who can say no to that? Right? Anyhow, I gotta get Aubrey back to the hideout. Uh, hey, you want her rifle? Her arm's all shot up. Won't be using it for a while. Sure, ma'am. That sounds great. And good luck. Same to you, sweetheart.
guess I'll have to take a detour. Ditch the bike. Bye, baby. I'll miss you. I smell trouble. Ah. Ah. You? Damn radio. Might as well be carrying a can on a piece of string. Namaste, mon frère. Have you come to be taken and become one with Mother Nature? What? They have come from the stars to put us back in touch with the Earth. Is there like another set of alien invaders that I'm not aware of? No, 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 they are not invaders. Look, I will show you. Oh, no. Come, let us celebrate the dawn of Aquarius. Help us change ourselves so we can change the world. Take us up in your divine chariots and teach us the path of peace. Yeah, about that. You might want to take cover. I can see in your aura that you are a powerful friend of the Earth. Now, mon frère, it is time to seek out their base and bring peace. By crushing the oppressor, you must head there, to the south, as the eagle flies. But you cannot go on foot like a hobbit. You will need a mighty steed. Here, take the keys to my combine harvester. You're a terrible hippie. You know that? Well, you have to go with the flow, mon frère. <laughs> Can you dig it? Like a grave. Oh, wow, that came out really sinister. Anyway, bye, hippie dude. Happy trails, mon frère. Let's see what this thing can do.
I always wanted to drive one of these over a bunch of aliens. Check it out. Shame if someone went over there and reprogrammed them.
I should get one of these. Human of Earth, you are filthy and unauthorized. Surrender immediately. What? Am I under arrest? Yes, yes you are. But officer, you don't even have a gun. That is irrelevant. You must surrender now, Barbaric Ape. Really? Because I was thinking I could reprogram you and then also grab one of those combat drones and use it against Mental. 